welcome to this video. I know it's been quite a while since I've done these videos. Um, I've just been, you know, really busy, got a new dog, a new sort of job sort of thing. Uh, so yeah, just past few months I've been really, really, really busy. So finally, I've got some time to myself to capture the stars again. So it's going to be quite a busy night. I'm also filming stuff for the one show on the BBC as well. So it's going to be kind of a busy night, but I'm looking forward to it. So I'm near Dunning. It's the end of November and, and I don't know if you can see this location behind me if I can lay it up it's like a witch's monument so it's a bit spooky uh, but I'm hoping to capture the plough it's looking north so I'm ho hoping to get the plough um, but yeah that's the first part of the night and then I'm heading 40 minutes up the road to a place called Amalry which has got like a spooky looking church so I'm going to try and capture that as well um, and that'll be to capture Orion because that's facing south. So start of the night, looking north. Also, there's an international space station going over very soon. So I'll probably try and get that as well. So let me get the cameras set up. As you can see, it's still sunset. But yeah, finally out again under the stars. And yeah, really looking forward to it. So I've just set up my camera. You might be able to see it down there. I'm just testing exposures because the ISS is going to be doing like a four or five minute flyover. So I'm just going to be, I'm trying to get the right settings uh, just now because it is, you know, four or five minutes. So I'll have to, you know, put up the F number and put down the ISO. So hopefully I'm just going to get it over this setting so you see the, the cross and the tree. So it'll be quite a nice flyover sort of ISS kind of line across the sky. So let's just hope it works. So I'm just trying to get the settings right just now, but we've got about 20 minutes to play about and then yeah, we get the nice ISS. And there it goes, I've just clicked it now. So there it is up there. Boop. Just go come over. So it's got a bit really bright as well, which is cool. Well, it's only minus 1.9 magnitude, so it's not really, really bright, but it's still bright enough. So yeah, this is looking pretty cool. Hopefully it works. Okay, so I've just been playing about at the location. I mean, like the stairs, going to the cross with the plow in the background. Really, really nice. So I've took even the camera here and got pictures of the stairs with it going up to it. So it looks really, really nice in like a portrait position like that. Whoop. And now I'm going to head to the other location. So it's about a 40 minute drive up in the highlands of Perthshire. So yeah, let's capture Jupiter with Orion. Oh, holy hell. Uh, I've just arrived in Amalry now. It's minus six and <laughs> yeah, I can feel it. It's really, really cold. Um, I'm just kind of scouting about just now because there was an old hut that was looking towards the southeast that I thought would work under Orion, but there's too many hedges around it and I just can't get to it. But there's a nice wee bridge over here that I'll show you uh, that actually does work. But, oh, this is nippy. So here's just the bridge here. I wonder if I can show you the river underneath it. It doesn't really get picked up on camera here. But there's a nice wee river here going up to the stars over there. I'll get my good camera out and be able to show you it. Oh, but before... I go to that location, I'm going to go up the road slightly to like a church. Oh, this is killing me. <laughs> uh, there's a nice little kind of creepy church, as I said before in the video, that will probably work earlier in the night. So we'll leave that bridge to the very end. Let's head to the church. Okay, so I'm at the church now, which is just about a two minute walk from where I parked. And I'm now at the Amalry church and it's got like loads of headstones in it so it's pretty creepy. Um, it's kind of got like a, a wall all the way around it and 
the gate is accessible to go in, but honestly, it's given off a wee bit too creepy vibes and I don't want to go in there alone. Because it's just, there's loads of headstones everywhere and it's very confined. Uh, so I could go in, or I'll just, I might just check it out and just shoot it from the outside of the wall. I think I'm just a bit scared or superstitious that going inside the wall will just make me even more creeped out. So I'm just going to shoot it through the gate and over the wall. But yeah, amazing dark skies, amazing foreground. Let's get this shot and run away to the bridge. <laughs> Orion's just coming over. We can't really capture Orion over it because the other side of it's like a steep hill. So I can't really shoot it. But shooting it west, north, west, it uh, works quite well. But yeah, I just don't want to go inside. It's just creepy. Good. camera like this is definitely not recommended because it's not very stable but I'm doing anything to go inside that gate because I'm creeped out <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna see what the, the pictures look like from here looks really nice anyway but I just feel like if I go over there I'm just gonna let my mind's gonna wander I'm just gonna be freaked out anyway let's get shooting I think there is a wee bit of there's a house just behind me and they've got the light on just in their house because it's their house but I think it's casting a wee bit of a shadow on this church so might not work this location but I'll pop the image up and yeah we'll see Okay, so I think that about wraps it up for tonight. I have just shot that Orion over this little wee river at just at the bridge at Ameltree. Went really well. I think the picture will turn out really, really well. Nice moorland, nice river, and obviously lovely Orion with uh, Taurus, Pleiades, and Jupiter really nicely. So yeah, let's see what the pictures look like. Very happy with tonight.